Ragazzi, facciamo un applauso di fragmento. So, dear audition, our task was to introduce you a typical life of a chick. Please listen to me now. I'm uh, giving a presentation. Thank you. <laughs> I love the socks, by the way. Thank you. Those are like that uh, actually a typical stereotype of the Czech people that when they go on the vacation they take like these shoes and they put socks in them. So I'm trying to be open with you. Uh, so our task for today was to give a presentation about a typical life of a Czech person. We think this, that this task should be completed by somebody who's got his own experience which he can tell the story about. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to a typical Czech person who's been through the exemplary life of Czech. Well, um, still is. Please give a big applause for Granny Kate! So, uh, uh, where are we and why is it so noisy here and the people... Granny, you were in Bad Marienburg, I've told you. Remember we went like for several hours in the bus? Oh, you bet I remember. My sore back reminds me enough of that. But, but it's, it's Thursday, right? It's, it's the day of, of the sales. We, we, we are in Deutschland, right? Um, they have Kaufland here too, so let's go! No, no, Granny Kate, for now we cannot go anywhere because you promised me when we went there, when we went here, you're gonna give a presentation about your life. You remember? No, uh, but I can tell you a story if you want to hear a story. Do you? Yeah. Well, it went like this. Yesterday, I went shopping, you know, some unexpected discounts in Kaufland. And so there I was, walking really fast. Let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> and then there came this rude youngster and said, can I pass, madam? No, you can't. I'll be there first. <laughs> and I was there first. So, that's it. <laughs> and now I can tell you a bit about my childhood. Yes. Yes. Want to hear that? <laughs> yes. Granny Kate actually thinks that these things, how youngsters act, it's all about the upbringing. <laughs> and now she's going to tell you the story of how she was little. So this is Granny Kate when she was in the kindergarten. Ah! <laughs> I was so adorable. I was so adorable. <laughs> she used to play with her friends, play with dolls, pick flowers, and yes, yeah, sometimes she threw the dolls away and she stealed the flowers from her friends. No! <laughs> okay, I was a bit loud sometimes. A bit more loud, I suppose. You know, here we go. So just be quiet. <laughs> what? She, she will sleep better? And, you know, actually, check kids can tell a good phone, you know? <laughs> So yeah, that was uh, Granny Kate. Ah! Oh, psh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but Baby Kate, when she was little, she actually loved a good fairy tale. And every evening in the television, there is a program which is called Vecherniche. Uh, that's the name of the guy, Vecherniche. And it could be translated as like an evening guy and he brings fairy tales to little children. And Granny Kate loved those fairy tales, right? Yes, I did. And some of her favorites were like Krteček, or Bob a Bobek, or Pat Amat. Here you can see Bob a Bobek, 
which were also present on the World Championship in Arizona in 2014, which took place in Czech Republic too. But the time flies, and there comes the time for Granny Kay to take her life into her own hands, and she goes to school. I was so excited. I'm going to learn how to write, I'm going to learn how to read, and, and you know, how to count, and I'm going to be the smartest. Oh, <laughs> you fool. Yeah, you fool. She thought how smart she's going to be. And the time flies again, and uh, Green Kate grows up a little, and there comes the story. Kate, the teenager. And her attitude to school, as you can see, kind of changed. But come on, don't slice it. It wasn't that bad, was it? Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. And sixth grade, my back hurt because of you. Yeah, so... Uh, Granny Kate became a student. <laughs> Maybe a little. Yeah, yeah. You know, the stereotypes. And you know what I hated the most? Foreigners would keep saying that our clothes looked like that. that our music sounded like that. Wait, I'm trying to communicate with the computer, but it's repeating. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait a second. It's going to be worth it. But I have free time to people. 
I like watching ice hockey, uh, but I watch it only when there's a uh, world championship. Yes, usually all the Czech people actually do. <laughs> hey, I go on vacation, usually to Croatia. Where else than to Croatia? You think you have plenty of time until you retire? Right? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, I've had a nice life, and I still do. I enjoy watching the news, I enjoy talking and maybe complaining a bit about politics. And I'd say I'm a happy person. Yeah, sometimes I forget about my teenage years, uh, that, that I wasn't a saint too. <laughs> yeah, so. My name is Granny Katarzyna, I'm from Czech Republic, and this was my story.